This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. over here uh let me see here what do i do ah, there we go we push that we're okay hello everybody how are you over there is uh is is um wait a minute let me turn on your mic the one and only i'm having all kinds of problems here tonight i gotta do this ah uh, there we go there we go uh, hi because you see, you don't come in so I can set things up. Wait a minute now. Well, you never asked second. me to come in to set things up. There we go. This is your off. room. I don't feel comfortable coming in here. Oh, really? Yeah, because when I come and do work, I want to put the television on so I can hear stuff in the background, and I can't do that when you're here. So I'd, so you see that pile of filing? That's why I don't come in here. You know what happened? I, I've got something wrong with my... Uh, I, I usually have a, 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 a timer up here that has the time and everything, big letters, and it's not up tonight. Ah, and I'm also having another problem here, just uh, you know. But I, I, all right, but you can look for that later. There are tons of problems I've been having. All right, but today. but let's get yeah, on with the show. There we go. There right. we go. Okay. Uh, but, but well, I mean, I I can't tell what time it is, so I don't know when the show's off. Well, I'll then, tell you. I've got no, a little clock right no, there. No, I've got a clock here too. But all I right. So I for now, you'll I use the like, little clock. I, I don't like the clock. But for but now, I know where I've got a clock. Right there. Right there. I got so there clock. you go. I can use a clock. So we've t- taken care of your problems. No Look more. Look at me. I'm in shorts again tonight, folks. No, they're not. They're long underpants. Wait a minute. They're not long underpants. The, this is. He just wants to show you his by legs. The, by the way, these pants are falling off of me. Uh, he just wants to show you his legs. I lost uh, lost about four pounds in the last day. In the last four hours. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a, what, just, you know, I just, I, I, I want to rest. Oh, I here, I should do the two shot, shouldn't I? There we go. She is here. Yeah, and so am I. It says, are you on GabNet tonight? Says Sam Forsyth Danford. Well, if you just look at my Facebook page, you'd see me here. I'm right, right here. Hi. It's very, you know, tonight. Are you on, are you on GabNet too? No, no, no. We're on GabNet too. Of course, yeah. we're always on well, that's GabNet. That's what he asked. We're on, no, we're on audio, and oh, we're on the video oh, as well. We oh. always do the video every night now. Good. But for as long as I keep doing this, which may be about another two days. Uh, but I, I today was just the most exhausting, exasperating day I've had in a real long time. I guess I'm going to hear it. Well, you lived it. I lived it. Here's what happens, okay? I decide that really I'm paying too much for cable. And we are. We were paying $336 a month for what they call Time Warner Signature Service. Well, Time (laughs) Warner has since been taken over by Spectrum, and they're happy to have me paying $335 a month, even though when I called them, he said, if you go over to our packages, which are exactly the same, it'll go down uh, appreciably. And I said, to what? And he said, three, uh, two, um, 65, something like, two, uh, 255, something like that, right? Um, and I said, and I said to the woman, I said, and I did this about five times, because you know how obsessive I am about this kind of shit. Oh, really? You know, I just over asked. Are you, now, uh, we have this thing where we have this whole house DVR thing going here. Will that still be working? And she says, absolutely. Sign me up. And, and I said, so no problem with that. And I asked her several times to make sure that was true because I had been told that if I wanted to go to another package that Spectrum had, they don't have whole house DVRs. Now, what company doesn't have a whole house DVR? Right? Here we go. I mean, DirecTV has it, Vios has it, every single cable company in America has it. Somehow, Spectrum doesn't want to do it. They said, well, we're planning on going to the cloud. Oh, great. You know, <laughs> but how does that help me now? So anyway, so she said, no, no problem. So I said, okay, sign me up. 
So he said, are you sure you want to get off the old plan and onto the new plan? I said, absolutely. So I said, I get the same internet speed? Yes, you should get the same internet speed. Yeah, I uh, get the internet, and I, once again, I say, and I get the whole house of DVRs working. She says, they were working for you under Time Warner Signature, so the equipment is there to do it with, okay? Sign me up. So last night, I, I came on the air and I told you that one of the problems I had, I, after spending an hour signing up, I spent another hour with somebody getting the TV sets turned back on that somehow they had <laughs> accidentally turned off. They, they saw that I had four machines in the uh, DVRs. It's like impossible. In, and, 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 you know, and I've got, uh, uh, what, what have I got? I've got, uh, 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 f uh, we got five of them, right? We have six, but one's well, not. Well, one I, I, one we one I disconnected and said right. I don't want. Let me just do something here so that I can uh, get the... Uh, Skype online because I didn't uh, uh, I didn't do this earlier. Uh, so anyway, so uh, I I you know I wanted to get the whole thing online. And uh, um, uh, where was I? I forget what I was saying. I'm online so, that so you signed up for the um, the package. Yeah, I signed up for the package with all and, the things that you and want. All the things that I want. Okay. No oh, then last night I I turn on the TV set in the bedroom, and it says, call us to activate. And I went, okay, I said there were five. They said there were four. They probably still think there were four. I know there are five, so I call them. It takes forever to get this set turned on. And then when it's turned on, I go into the kitchen to turn on the uh, TV set in there, and it needs to be activated, and it wasn't one that was supposed to be turned off. Oh, God. Right? I disappear <laughs> right? when these things happen. Right, and so this is, that's going on, right? This is, this is Spectrum, ladies and gentlemen, Spectrum. Spectrum is the name of the company. Just remember, it's Spectrum. They're owned by Charter. They're a charter company, okay? Fuck you, Charter. Fuck you, Spectrum. So anyway, I get that taken care of last night. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to go to sleep tonight. I'm going to get up tomorrow morning. I know there's going to be something wrong. I get up, and sure enough, I go to use my whole house DVR, which is pushing a little green button we have on our remote, and nothing. Nothing shows up. I am now on the phone for it had to be... All day. On and off all day. Yeah. And they said, well, you know, we I guess they turned it off, the whole house thing. I said, well, then turn it back on. Because I was told that was the reason I changed. That was my main reason. Nothing else mattered. It was all the same stuff. I just wanted to make sure I got that. And they went, oh, well, we'll talk to our engineering department. They talked to the engineering department, and they said, well, we're trying to find the codes for it. And I'm going, oh, boy. Yeah, you know, trying to get the codes for it. Fine, good. Did Fuck they? You. Did they? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was the, the, uh, he, the guy says to me, it should be going on in about 10 minutes, your all house DVR thing. And I, uh, I uh, then about 10 minutes later, I click the button, nothing. green button, nothing. Half hour later, nothing. nothing. Now I call them back. And they say, oh, oh, okay, let's, uh, let's, we gotta do a few things here. Okay, we just put in the codes. It should be good to go in about 10 minutes. It should just, you know, it takes about 10 minutes for it to notice it, you know. Ten minutes later, I push the green button, nothing. Half hour later, I push the green button, not a fucking thing. Now I am insane, okay? <laughs> now I'm exhausted, all right? So I call them back, and now I'm yelling. And I said, you know, uh, you, you guys said you do this. And then they also sent me a message. We're sending out, they sent a message. We're sending out a, uh, uh, a, a guy you know, from the cable dispatcher. company. Uh, uh, dispatcher. Dispatcher, uh, repair, repair tech or whatever. And uh, I got that as an email. And then I said to her, well, I guess I have, why do I have this thing for tomorrow? And she said, well, that's because uh, maybe we need to send somebody out to send, set it up out there. You know, there's something they have to do here. And I said, okay, well, I guess, uh, she says, but you're not set up for being, getting anybody coming out on, on, uh, on Saturday. I said, why? She said, somebody canceled it. <laughs> now, the thing had been done 
20 minutes, 30 minutes before I called and talked to this woman, I just happened to see it on my computer while I was working. And she says to me, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, somebody canceled it. I said, I didn't cancel it. I said, well, give me another, you know, appointment. Just reinstitute that appointment. She looks, she says, I have nothing for tomorrow. I said, you just had something for tomorrow, and now you don't have anything for tomorrow? Said, That's right. What's the closest day you have? Sunday. I said, you know, I told somebody earlier, I, I, you know, I, I, I said, if you don't get this thing solved by today, I'm going to Fios. Fuck it, you know? And there's a downside to Fios, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but uh, I, good to my word, uh, I, they gave me a new appointment. And in the meantime, I called Fios. And I talked to the guy at Fios. And they're giving me almost, almost a gigabit upload and gigabit download. You know how fast that is? So fast, it makes your head swim. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that speed. Well, I, I see it too. Oh, I could send out, out of here, I could send out stuff at the highest live stream uh, uh, thing because it's that fast. The, the speed of the, uh, of the pipe is that fast. So that's great. And we're getting their Ultra HD package, which is everything. You know, it's, it's even stuff we haven't gotten before. It'll take you forever to explore the Wonderland. The only thing that's going to bother you is that they all have different numbers now. Oh, God, it's going to take me forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, and, and anyway, so the, the next part of this deal is I just said to them, I said to them, I told them my problem, and I said, just let's do it, you know. So I ordered Fios, Fios to be installed on, it's going to be Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, and I called up the Spectrum and I said, uh, don't send the... Uh, the tech out. I said, they said, why? They said, because after Wednesday, when I get Fios installed, you guys are history. And the only trouble with Fios is, and this wouldn't be a problem if I wasn't having certain problems with my email, email program, um, which uh, is Outlook, uh, is they don't give you an email address. You know, I mean, you have to get your email address from somewhere somewhere like else. Gmail or, or, or whatever. Or, you know, maybe they, I don't know if they have some way you can Yahoo get Yahoo has it, too. Yahoo has addresses. I mean, everybody has yeah. addresses. So it's not difficult to, no. uh, to, to contend with. Plus, I have all those Apple addresses. Ad addresses. I have the Apple address, yeah. which um, I can't get to work on my Outlook. So now I'm using Apple Mail, which looks a lot like Outlook anyway. Yeah. And I'm configuring it. I'll get used to it. I don't want to use... I can't use, uh, my new address is Gmail, and I can't use Gmail uh, with, my, with my Outlook or, or even online because everything goes into spam. And I put in all kinds of things saying, don't send this to spam and don't send that to spam, and it still sends everything, Something. a lot of stuff to yeah. spam. And then you said, well, it doesn't happen to me, and then I went and showed you your spam yeah, folder. Those are things that are fine in spam, they're all like, you know. I'll bet you find a couple of letters from friends. I don't care. Because most of the stuff you get every day yeah. is spam. Yeah. I don't mind filtering the spam myself. Just give me a switch that says don't filter the spam. And if anybody knows how you do it on uh, 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 Apple Gmail, uh, there's no way to turn off the spam filter. You know, and I would love to turn off the spam filter. And uh, also some things drop out and so on. But if I use mail, the Gmail goes in there very nicely, and uh, I get all the. I can use all my. I can use my Apple uh, address because all that stuff will come in. So all the things like Hulu and Netflix and stuff, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make the Apple uh, address. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's my. Uh, that's my story for now. Good. You know I. Uh, oh gee, I have to make sure I change the. Uh, email address for uh, uh, my uh, company that serves out the audio here. But anyway, I just got completely frustrated and flummoxed by all this because after, it took total, I spent four hours of my life with these spent people. Spent the whole day. In, in, in a form of anguish, you know. And I just let him do it and I kind of disappear into this 
Span I would say Spanish soap opera television program, but it's Turkish. <laughs> I don't know why you're watching that. It, well, it, it tell just kind of no, gets me. <laughs> she does. She she does binge watching, and this is I, I think. I started binge watching. I thought it was. Like wait a minute. Wait, seven. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me tell the story. You see, I mean, the thing is, you're binge watching, but you're 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 crazy, right? You're nuts, um, and the reason you're you're nuts. Uh, is that uh, you? You're just you're going really wacko over this thing, and it turns out that she likes binge watching. I but do. this is an uh, this is an ultimate sickness. <laughs> okay, this is approach sickness. Well, I thought it would be seven or eight episodes. Okay, so she goes to look and see how many episodes no, you there went are. In. I did. You went to in. see how many episodes there were of it. How many episodes are there of this of this? Seventy. <laughs> Seven now, episodes. the only time we ever binge watched close to that was 65 episodes of Breaking Bad. Right. When we hadn't seen it, and then we wanted to catch up, and then we caught up the night before the last episode. I mean, this is such a But, but I mean, there's a difference between Breaking Bad and, uh, <laughs> and, soap and, and this thing, which is essentially a soap opera. I love it. The two people are gazing at each other, and you hear the instruments in the back. <laughs> well, then I've got to turn you on to some telenovelas because those well, telenovelas are just. Well, that's you know. what this is, except it's in Turkish. <laughs> they have great production values on the telenovelas, and um, and the lead actor is so good looking. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's still seventy hours of your life. You know, you're you're not. You haven't got many years left in you, you old horse. And it's the uh, highlight of my life. And and this is not going to help. It gets me away from dealing with you with your crises. I just turn it on and I'm like, you know, what in Turkey. What crises? I don't have any crises. <laughs> Where is my goddamn clock? I can't figure out. I well, guess figure I'm gonna it to, out. I'm gonna have to reboot. When you're not the, on, I'm gonna have to reboot the goddamn machine to see. I think my it's clock. time to turn on. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're you're trying to fool me, but I can actually see the time here. <laughs> it's 10:22. So you got there. eight minutes. I can also look him back at me, and I can see it on the cable box. That's there it is. It's going to turn to 22 any second now. Go ahead. Turn. Alex. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I decided that what you should do is move it over there, because that's what you see. No, it looks fine where it is. I think behind you. I don't want it behind me. You don't like it. Huh? I, I should, it's fine, but, you know. It should automatically go on at 10 o'clock by itself. You know, we should put it on a timer. Oh, you That's can what do you that. get me for next Christmas. <laughs> you can do it. You know, um, but it, it, it's so, so anyway, so I, you know, I, I just, it's just amazing to me how inefficient. Oh, the, oh, then the, in between all of this, right? Right. I decide I'll call Microsoft and see if I can, <laughs> if I can solve that if, problem. If I can solve the Outlook problem because it's a Microsoft product. And uh, you should go to the Microsoft building. Yeah. Anyway, office. it says it says you know put in your phone number and we'll call you within five minutes. And I sure enough, within five minutes, I get a call from Microsoft, and it, it, I know it's a guy in India. <laughs> it's got to be either that or some country that, that hires Indians. Uh, uh, so uh, he he then and they have American names. Yeah, like Jerry. I, I know his was like Ishmael or something. Uh -huh. It really was, you know. So, so he says, "Yes, but can I can I help you?" And I tell him, and <laughs> I, it, it's it's going really slow because he's uh, yes, Mister uh, uh, Mister. No, they always they always call you Mister, and then if they ask you your first name, you Mr. say like Bennett. it's Bennett, and then he says, "Yes, Mister Bennett." <laughs> right, <laughs> but he wasn't calling me Bennett. He was calling me Benish or something. Anyway. He then goes has to go online so he can access my machine. Okay, so uh, that takes another five minutes for him to send me the thing, and then I have to sign a thing saying it's okay for him to come on my computer. And now he says, now all you have to do is you can go somewhere else and do whatever you want to do, and I will fix it for you. But every two seconds he's asking me another question, <laughs> so I can't leave and go into another room. And the, and the problem I had was. That Outlook all of a sudden is not picking up. Did he fix it? He found out what may be causing it, but he didn't fix it. He didn't it. fix it. Um, um, and then he tells me, he says, and I'm not very good with Outlook for the Mac. He says, I'm, I, I've been trained on Outlook for, for the PC. I mean, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know. 
So anyway, it has something to do, I don't know. I cannot sign on to any of my Apple emails, like a Bennett blah, 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 at me.com. Okay, can't sign on to that. It won't verify. It has something to do with something that Apple is doing that is called uh, two-step verification. I've Which, had that. Huh? I've had that before. Did you get the two-step verification? Yeah, but not. For, I, I can't remember what it was for, though. I don't know if it was Apple. Probably it was for something else. And, and this is the most annoying fucking thing I can imagine. I mean, I read about it, and it looks annoying as shit, uh, where you have to verify and... If you use a new piece of equipment, you, the, it'll ask you for a code number, which will flash up on your iPhone, which you then put in. Yeah. And, da, 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 da. and, and then, then if I have name, the, name all the symbols that have trees in it. Well, <laughs> and then if I have two, if I have a two-step verification, I can then take the Outlook and make it read verify. So I can't use the Outlook. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to do all that shit. Okay. okay? So now I go to the Apple uh, mail, which, you know, does pick up all my, that mail, and it picks up all my other mail too, so blow me, you know, I'll, I'll go to the other one. But I'm still paying Microsoft 99 bucks a year, but now just for Word, because I don't use Excel. I use Excel. No, oh, okay, well, if you use Excel here, then please be my guest, because we're paying for it, you know. Uh, and, uh, and uh, I don't know. It just it just it just it was a whole day of frustration. So that frustration also happened with Mr. Amir or whatever his name was in India. Oh, and then when it was through, would you like? Could you speak to my supervisor? He would like to talk to you. I go okay, fine. And now I'm on the phone for another five minutes while I wait for his supervisor. And finally, he comes on and he just goes, "Were you satisfied?" Yes, I was. Thank you. The only thing that I got a chance to do, folks, and I feel real good about this, is Amir, or whatever his name was, asked me, was I happy with the Microsoft products that I have? And I said, well, I have Outlook, and I have Word, you know, I have the whole office. Anything else? I said, well, there is Skype, and it kind of sucks, but it's better these days. So I got to complain about Skype, and then I suddenly thought, I bet I can call this guy about Skype. Did you get his direct number? No, I didn't get his direct number, but well, I know how to. Sometimes. You just go online, and you go to uh, you go through the whole thing of um, trying to find out, uh, you know, where you can, how you can get uh, help, and then there's a place that says contact, and then there's a phone number, and then you can call the phone number, and I guess you can ask him about any Microsoft product, but I'm sure this guy didn't know a sim single thing about Skype, Skype, you know. So okay, dear. No, no it's not time yet. <laughs> Okay, I, I I see. This is bothering me. I, I normally have a nice clock. little clock here. Well, you don't have it tonight. and get it over. It. Well, I don't know where the, what happened to the clock tonight. Well, you'll find it later, not now. Huh? You'll find Wait it minute, later. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find it now, because I would love to have my clock here. I would love to go to bed. You would love to go to bed. <laughs> I'm sure you. Would. I fell asleep on the bus today. Like it didn't yeah. even get to uh, the first. Analog clock tile. Here we are. There we Got go. It back? Well, that's not what I want. Well, it's good for Let's now. Start clocks and add add, add uh, clock to start. Okay. Well, I'll see what happens. Oh, I mean, here's a clock library. Well, that isn't what I want. Not to now, Alex. Digital. Digital. Wait a minute. I'm getting there. Wide. I'm getting there. I'm getting uh, closer. I'm getting closer. Greek. Downloaded. Oh, the ones I've downloaded. Well, let me just do this one. Do you want to pin this to this to file to start? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Now it's uh, it's there. Let me see here. I don't know. It's nowhere. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. I'm supposed to pin it. I'm going to say good night no, before no, the what, people what, come what, why, on. Why are, you, why are you doing that? Because I can't keep my eyes open. Oh, so I was okay. trying to tell you, I fell asleep on the bus yeah. before the first stop. Oh, really? Yeah. And the yeah. next thing I know, we're on... Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard. Yeah. Well, today I was talking to Snyder, Michael yeah. Snyder, the movie guy, our and movie guy. He fell asleep. And no, I no, I, he said to me first thing, "How do you feel? How, how you how you feeling?" And I went terrible. And he said, "Okay, now here's what I want to do today." And I'm thinking to myself, you know, people ask you how are you today, but they don't really give a shit. Right. 
How you, know? you doing? So don't even ask me, you know. But you could roll over here and, and kiss me. Okay. Uh, you know. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the lines are open in case people haven't Please noticed call, yet. Please call because I'm going to sleep. You're going to sleep? Any minute. Any minute now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're waiting for people to call. And they will call, I'm sure. This is my Friday night shirt. Yeah, but I really, really wish I could have a clock up there. This is driving It'll me fucking It'll show nuts. later. It's driving me out of my mind. It's mm. not good. It's not, what, are you, what are you doing that for? Because I was doing one of you. Yeah. So anyway, we're waiting for people to call. And it's a very simple. See, there you are, live. Is it a fill-free night? No, last night was a fill-free night. It was actually a pretty good show. You know, did you hear it? Yeah. Did you listen to it? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, because I enjoy it. I may not be doing it that much longer. <laughs> I watch it after. No, this is driving. After Morning Joe. This is driving me nuts. And after after twenty episodes of that telenovela that she's paying attention to. Scott. Uh, here comes Scott. Here, Scott. Hey, there he goes. In the true tradition right. of, of the program, as it has been in the past, here is Scott. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Scott. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Good. How you doing? Good. Got to make sure I shut my audio off. Wait. Yeah, I guess I did. Wait a minute. So I how, just want to see how, Marjorie before I, she goes to bed. What? Well, I just wanted to see you because uh, I hadn't seen you in a while. I know. Yeah. I don't think I called in last. Yeah. Well, you were out last Friday with the the, the trip that got canceled. Oh, so Friday, anyway, yeah, let me ask you this question, Scott. Was. How are you? You don't give a shit. That's correct. <laughs> see, I mean, <laughs> you know, but am I right? People ask you how you are, and they're really. This is their way of saying hello. How they you don't doing? really. They how don't you do doing? It. How you doing? How you doing? Do you and really I, want to know? And he said, "How how are how are you doing?" And I said, "Terrible." Because it was, I was just having a horrid day, and he just went, oh, oh. He didn't even say okay. He didn't even ask what the problem was, you know. So I mean, I mean if you're gonna ask, you say, yeah, well, if you're gonna, what's wrong with you? If you're exactly. gonna ask, be be decent about hey, it. There we Rob. go. Oh, we got Rob. The guy's Hello? always always in hey, the Rob. shadows. Yes, he's wearing a New York <laughs> Yankees shirt. Okay. Yeah, I'm still watching the Yankee game. Oh really? Uh, can yeah. we, we can't rebroadcast that. I don't think. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, you didn't do it. He did it. Not without it. Not without the express no. written consent of the New York Yankees. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, uh, uh, they yeah. just came on. It, 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 do they still say the express written consent? Yes, they do. Like they'll ever give it to you. No, no they, they won't. <laughs> yeah. You can't even show it in a bar without paying for it. Well, you know, I, I, hi, as, uh, so hi, Jason. I used, I used to Hi, work Jason. for the guy who they created that part of the uh, that part of the statement for, uh, where they go good night. okay good night yeah where they where they say um, any description yes or a recreation right and what it was is my old boss Gordon McClendon uh, who uh, was a big radio guy back in the day got his start by starting the Liberty Radio Network which was a network that broadcast recreations of baseball games. And somebody would just sit there in the stadium and send, you know, they would type him uh, through teletype the line scores and what was happening, and then he would just make, you know, embellish on it. And some people said that his embellishment of the games made them more interesting than the games were. But that's why now they have that particular caveat, you know. Um, that you can't, uh, you must have the, you, know, you can't, can't do any description of the, uh, of the, of the baseball game. And I missed the last couple of minutes. Were you guys talking about the Yankees and Detroit Tigers fights? Or no, that no, we weren't. We, I just <laughs> no. mentioned that that was amazing. That fight. What fight? What, <laughs> what, 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 what fight was this? I haven't paid attention to anything. I haven't eaten all day. That's how oh. bad this whole thing was with spec. Yeah, I heard your. Uh, I've been listening. I've been watching the game with the sound down, listening to Listen, you and your trials and tribulations yeah, and today. And the only thing I know is, I mean, I'm so happy that I'm dumping them. You know, they deserve it. Okay? They deserve it. But I know I'm going to be yelling at Fios. They're all the same. Yeah. They're all the same. You know. But I found out with Fios, but, they don't give you an email address. You'll create it when they register you, most likely. No, I have an email address that it is my is my you know uh, my, my why bother ID. Why, why do you need it in yeah. case you want to switch once you switch it and everybody starts using the other address well, why it, would you want to it's a member id for that provider 
Yeah. You know, that they use that as your login. And then That's you, fine. usually they create it when you register <laughs> your service. And yeah. I'll recommend to people keep two email addresses at least. You know, one is a junk email that yeah. you give out for shopping and stuff like that. And one is your regular email. Well, that's kind well, of your spam in, filter. Well, what I'm in my case, I would use the, the if that's you were going to do that, then I would use the FiOS email address yeah, as spam exactly. filter. So when you leave FiOS, well, and no, go the back FiOS, no, the, the FiOS, the FiOS, no, wait a minute, hold, hold on a second. The FiOS email address is my Gmail address. That's my ID for them. They didn't give me an email address. That's right, because mine on FiOS was my Hotmail address. Right, exactly. So what I'm going to do is now that I'm I'm working off of Apple Mail, which gets all my Mac my Mac Mail, uh, I'm going to put all the stuff like Hulu, Netflix, and so on on the, the me.com, and I'm going to put all of my friends and everything on uh, on uh, what do you call it on uh, Gmail, and I think. It, that, Mm -hmm. See, that's one thing you guys were talking about with, you know, when you switch providers and everything, Rob was saying how you can't basically forward, you know, there, there has to be a way that they could forward it and maybe once, you have to they maybe, once they shut it down. But, but that's the thing that maybe the government should step in just like with phone numbers. They made it that, you know, the phone number you can take with you to another provider. They can't should be able to make, they should. Technically, there, no well, uh, a good example was, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me tell There's you. There's a technical reason why. Why? Because for them to do it, that means that they need to keep a mailbox as large as it can get with your with your information in it. And why should they be forced to do that? You're not a well, customer do, there. Do they really need to do that or do they just need to keep it open so it forwards to your new email and that's where you're actually storing stuff? Ah, and and even good. if that's, that's the case, very good. couldn't they just you know say, okay, well, $5 a month, you can keep your email. You, you, it, that's a different story, maybe. Well, but. Marjorie had that where she kept... Uh, uh, AOL did that. She did it with, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the company. Here in, in Manhattan, you could have you could have email from uh, Roadrunner or you could get it from the other company. I can't remember who it was. I think they had to do that because they didn't want to get sued. And uh, she paid $5 a month to keep her email address. And now, now what you could do is they could just forward the email. They don't have to keep it on their servers, but forward it to whatever your new address is. When but that I, means they when, need to keep you in their systems when forever. I, when I signed on to FiOS, they gave uh. me they gave me phone service. Now the last thing I want is a phone. I've got a cell phone. This thing I never use. The only time it ever rings is when it's a you know a, a marketer, telemarketer, and then it goes over to this phone. Okay, it switches over to this phone. Uh, I don't want it. It's a pain in the ass. I don't need it. Leave me alone. Go take a trip somewhere. But anyway, I, 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 I get forced. I get, I get forced to have the phone. So um, uh, uh, that's you know. But they. But the thing is, they say, well, what number do you want? We can take the number you've got over at uh, over in uh, at the you know um, uh, spectrum spectrum, and we can have it on our system. And I go fine. Why can't I do that with uh, email? Why can't I say? Because it's not the same. It's one is just porting a phone number, yeah. and one is an actual sep. It, it's it's a different kind of situation. Uh, believe me, I managed email systems. I wouldn't want to. Providing a service. There's no so way who, to really who, do who it. Who that, regulates the telephone numbers? Who's the one who says this telephone number goes where? The That's, FCC, I believe. Yeah. But the well, thing, why can't the FCC be in charge of email? Hello, because Renee. if, like I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this is not as simple as just porting an email address. It has to do with domains, with domain names. You can't just do that. Believe me, I've managed email systems. But it, can't isn't do it. an email just basically an IP address? <laughs> no, an email is not an IP it's, address. An email is a domain name, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to manage your account well after you're gone just because you don't want to change your email address. Not going to happen, and I don't blame them. That's well, not me, man. Managed for email fair, systems it's for not. a fair fee. I think they should, you know. If if I agree fee, with you. I agree have. with you. For a fair fee, that's fine. But free, not happening. No, I don't think they have to do it for free. I mean, I asked uh, Spectrum. I said, mm -hmm. if I leave you, can I pay you like, you know, fifteen, uh, you know, five bucks a month and get to keep my email address? And they said no. They said the only way yeah, you because do it is they don't want you. They, they really don't want they to said manage if that. If you bought our cheapest internet yeah. service, which is twenty dollars a month, uh, we we would keep your email address. 
And I said, oh, well, that's uh, that's all well and good, but uh, about, yeah, uh, do they teaches, sell dial up? It teaches you straight up: don't use your provider's email ever. Use yeah, a no. public email. Well, I feel There's one I of the free ones yeah. out there. There's no but reason so, to. Use. So why I, are there the free ones out there? I feel pretty good with my Apple well, address. Advertising. Okay, because exactly, and that's where I guess I would look at it as you know it'd be in you know AT and T or Spectrum or you know FiOS's interest to say okay yeah you can have your email we can well, disconnect it from thing. this account and it, have it open it, it, so it, that way we yeah. still have a footprint in your life. I sent an email uh, out to everybody the other day saying. Uh, uh, here's my new address, and then I had to send another email saying, well, I'm going back with my cable company, so let's go back to my old address, and now I'm going to have to write them all again and say, I'm getting to be a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> really the headline on your email, except okay, I'm wearing stop. a dress. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I said I read the headline on your email, and it says, I'm wearing a dress. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but you know it was it, it you know but the thing is that it is it it's not easy being green and it's not easy changing email addresses. I wish there was a better company than Gmail. I wish there were better companies than Yahoo for handling mail. I I don't like for instance uh, they they use there these are. they use these IMAP systems. No, it, there are. I pay. Ten dollars a month for five mailboxes, and I use a company called Rackspace.com, and it's flawless. I use my own domain name, and they they handle everything. Rackspace? It's called Rackspace. Yeah, R A C K S P A C E. And how much is com. it a month? Well, the the plan I have is five email boxes for uh, ten bucks a month. Is there a limit on size? Uh, not really. Uh, there may be, but I haven't reached it, and I haven't deleted anything in years. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, uh, you pay ten bucks a month for that. For five mailboxes. For five now they mailboxes. might have a, one for less. I don't know if I have the smallest plan. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let me tell you, they have twenty four seven support. These guys are wonderful. So what happens? You you have an email address for that box? No. No, I have a domain name, uh, carpetoneconquer.com, yeah. and uh, they use that. They use that, uh, and I I have an email with my name and my domain name, and it's all handled through Rackspace. Yeah, but you it's know, here's a, he, 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 well, here's here's what happens when you do that. Let's say you don't want to pay Rackspace any longer. Now you have to send everybody out another pain no, in the ass. No, the like email mine. is still mine. Uh, the, 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 the domain the domain and the name it, it's all mine they're just right. they're just in the cloud handling all my crap oh so you have to set up a domain somewhere yeah but you have a domain well but I you know I don't know how long I'm going to have that I mean I could yes I can I can uh, in fact up the uh, email amount on gabnet and uh, keep it going forever you know yeah. no no are you going to get rid of alexbennett.com uh, uh, no okay so use that, you know, use I, I, that domain name. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You can, with through the rack space, you use that, and uh, uh, you can yeah, receive you receive it to a rack space box. Now you can, uh, for a buck more a month, have it go into your uh, Outlook. Here's my uh, they, here's, here's, here's my pro here's my problem with alexbennett.com. Uh, yeah. I had a, um, a name of uh, Alex Bennett at alexbennett.com, and yeah. it was great for a while. Until somehow, people who wanted to spam like crazy, all of a sudden, AlexBennett.com became this giant magnet right. for the whole universe. You know why? You know, you know why? Why? I'll tell you why. Why? Because yeah. they because you had it on an email page, right? How to contact you? Yeah. Probably. That's why. It was it was it was uh, crawled. They crawled it, and once they got a hold of it, they they it's, they it's, start spamming you. So they. You had it on, yeah. You could change it to Alex at alexbennett.com, yeah, exactly. and then don't That's publish perfect. it, and you won't have that problem. Right. It's too late now, but uh, they, you know. No, it isn't. It's not if he does no, Alex just, at Alex. Let well, the well, job. Yeah. Right. Renee, let the, Renee, yeah. Renee, are you having some Get trouble? Wait, hold, hold on a second, Renee. Are you having some troubles tonight with your picture there? It keeps going on and on. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> no, I'm trying to put. On, so I don't know if you guys know, but I fractured my foot. Oh, no. oh, really? Oh, how'd you do that? Yes. I'm just Putting trying, it in their mouth. I'm trying to put on, <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure you guys aren't laughing at me while I'm trying to put my foot in the damn thing. Oh. So, hey, so Phil, suck yeah. it. 
suck it, suck it, suck it. Like <laughs> sexual what? overtones. Wait a minute. I don't like this this inter citizen panel fighting. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. know what the fight's about. But, Mom, uh, Dad, quit fighting. <laughs> Sounds so like the love of death. The Patriot prayer has been canceled because the little white people are afraid that's going to have something bad going to happen to them in San Francisco. So they're not going to come, but they want everybody to come to the Prince Conference. Did you read but that? Thing? Not I sent you Nazis. That yeah, there's so 300 of them, and most of them are living in their mother's basements. And they're not good. You know, and uh, you, you can't, uh, you know, accuse every Republican of being one. Well, they're, they're basically. You know, like, you're the one letting them run around. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. You're the one letting these hateful at, at heart, bastards. At, at heart, run they're troglodytes. We'll, get to, we'll get to this all in a moment. We have a lot of time here, I think. I can't. I have no clock tonight. So. Uh, 45 minutes after the hour. 45 minutes. Yeah, give, give us a time signal every every five minutes or 10 minutes. So. Well, that'll be your, be your job tonight. But anyway, uh, uh, for, I just wanted to ask Rob, you like your Fios, right? I do. I'm going back to it as soon as I move. In fact, I got I got news. We are moving in on September 23rd. Bravo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I take I take possession of the of the house on uh, the 18th. We and, close. and I understand the Blair Witch takes possession of the property on the 19th. <laughs> That's right. And then I'm having all kinds of crap furniture and appliances and water treatment system and everything delivered between then and the 22nd. Fios goes in on the 22nd. We move in on the 23rd. Yeah. And I'm ready to go. Then I then I'll once you, we're so settled you, you I'll never the had studio. you never really had any trouble with Fios. I assume. Never ever ever ever. Well, I thought you did because I thought that there was times that you were complaining about the techs who were coming out didn't know what the hell they were doing. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, that, yeah. But that was uh that's right. There was uh, an issue with um Install. There was an issue with uh, with streaming on MLB when I watched the baseball games. There was an issue with streaming. It kept it, you know, would it would spin and spin. And they sent a guy out. They sent like four guys out, and none of those guys knew anything about networking. And uh, but it was only on that. Me, it, was, it, it was only on that channel, right? It was only streaming on MLB's app on my uh, PlayStation. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, never, game system, never lost so. the system. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. a happy And memory. it could have been the game system, to be honest with you. But I, I noticed a lot of uh, a lot of uh, latency in the in the in the uh, pinging, and, uh, and I pointed how, how, how it out fast, to them. How fast was your uh, was your bandwidth? Oh, and that's the other thing too. My bandwidth at that time was slow. Because and I had yeah. I, I had I had slow bandwidth. I only had like three hundred uh, meg. Because yeah, no, I, no, 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 no. It was only it was like. It was uh, twenty. I'm getting three hundred now, which I which I love. But I understand this new thing. I'm going to get almost a gig, up and down. It, actually, That's it's something great. like nine sixty up, or rather nine sixty down and eight twenty up or something. And here's the best part of the whole thing. I was paying three hundred and thirty five dollars a month for this fucking signature <laughs> program, right? Uh, the price they're giving me at FIOS, and this is a guaranteed price, uh, is a hundred and twenty-nine dollars, uh, two hundred and twenty-nine dollars a month. I was going to say one hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah. Two hundred and twenty-nine. Now, two hundred. Is that a contract for two years, and then after that, it goes no, crazy? No, I asked about that. that. It goes up. Tax? It goes up ne after the first year, five dollars. Does that okay. include the tax? Wait a minute. That no. includes the, they, that. No, they, that includes the tax. That's really? everything. He says, going out the door, you're going to be paying one hundred and twenty nine, uh, two hundred twenty nine dollars a month. The first month, I they're going to add ninety to it for the installation fee. Okay. Right. Uh, but he said after the two years, he said we guarantee the price won't go up. So you call know. up, <laughs> tell them that you're a senior and you want them to waive the installation fee. <laughs> well, if I wanted to have them just leave the boxes off, I could, you know, I, they could just yeah. come in and uh, let them let them set it up. Well, the thing is that um, uh, I, they you know, I, they don't have wait to, they won't they, they they think it's going to take five hours to install and stuff. And I said, no, it's not because you're not going to have to do any wiring because you're just going to use the existing coaxial in the apartment. 
First he said, oh no, we're fiber. And I said, yeah, but up to my apartment, once it comes into my apartment, you have to get everything to different sets and you're gonna, you, you'd have to lay coaxial. It's already been laid by the last can't company. They, can't they right. put some fiber in the apartment? No. Oh no. Why no. Not? Just exchange. Well, how, would you, how would you do that? How do you connect fiber oh, to the back? Uh, we, uh, we, do it, we actually bring the fiber into the apartment. Yeah, so but you can't. O and T into the apartment. The O and T right. goes to the modem, and then the modem feeds your boxes. Right. Yeah. That's that's that's. But you can't take it any further than the modem because. No. Right. Then, yeah. You know, we like to use uh, Cat Five instead of Coax, but. Right. Well, Cat Five is what they did here. I call it Coax. You know, but it's it's Cat Five. Oh. So all they do is they put they have a box right. they supposedly put in the apartment. Where the fiber goes in, and what comes out is you plug that you plug in your. Uh, uh, this is, you know, what I don't understand, you know, because I don't know a lot about fiber. You know, I've got this optical thing that goes from my stereo to my television, uh, for yeah. the sound. Right. Uh, how come they can't use these optical cables, you know, like glass? Well, I mean, they can they can use Wi-Fi for this stuff, but quite frankly, uh, and I, I I think Rob would agree with me. There's nothing better than hard wired, you know. Absolutely, uh, it and, doesn't, no interference, yeah. no. Yeah, it's definitely. And by better. the way, it's more secure too. By the way, I get one DVR with this, and all the other boxes can read that DVR. They can speed it up, slow it down. Uh, I think you can set the recording on any machine in the house. Is am I right about that, uh, Rob? I don't know that for sure. So you do I, get it in all rooms now. Yeah, I'm trying. To, well, I don't. I've had so many DVRs. I can't remember if I had a FiOS DVR or not. Well, you no, you had to have when you had FiOS in your apartment. Or your, but I don't remember house. if I had a FiOS DVR because I had a uh, a TiVo. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. And I had so I had TiVo. Yeah. Um, and I sold the TiVo when I when I switched to Direct TV because it didn't uh, it, it it doesn't work. You have yeah. to buy a, a special one. But for supposedly Direct TV. you can get it to work uh, for most of the boxes, and uh, it, this won't be a problem. It's just a matter of them pulling the boxes out and then me lugging down six boxes plus a modem back to time, you know, back to Spectrum, uh, which girlfriend will help me with as soon as I tell right, them. Then as far as they won't send you a box, so you can ship it back. Oh, uh, they might. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't quit. I would yet. ask about that. You know, call them up for a service call when they come out, hand them the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See if you can do a service call a little faster than Sunday. I think you can be here pretty fast if I tell you I'm going to dump one out the window every hour. You know? Yeah, they'll send you a bill for that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they will. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, but that's and, having problems yeah. too. Is anybody running Cat Six? Rob, are you getting Cat Six in your house? No, because uh, they wanted too much money for it. And Cat Six is great if you're if you're running a t shit ton of data. I mean, you I put Cat Six in a, in a corporate environment for for your house. You don't need Cat Six. They asked me, "Do you want Cat Six? And I said, "How much?" And they told me the price, and I went, "Get out! You're crazy." Hey, I'll take I, I, had five. Six, I, I had a sick. I had a sick cat once. Then in, I, thought, I thought Rob had two cats. Go go on. He got cat two. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, you know, I mean, um, uh, it it was just it was it was just so frustrating, and it 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 goes to a larger endemic problem we have in this country, and that's service. A service ah. sucks. Ah. Service just absolutely sucks. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. because most most companies give a shitters are broken. You, you give a shitters are no, broken. You know, you, it, you blame it, it on the to company. Put money in. I think it starts with the with the representative and the salesperson. It's a matter of training and it's a matter of willingness. Well, you know, every no, it starts with the CEO, and that's why United Airlines is so fucking shitty, is because their upper management just wants the money from those passengers. So if you're not training your customer service, then they don't have a problem with it because it's cheaper for them not to train smart and intelligent people. What kind of training does it take? Don't take it personally. You know what kind of what kind of training? Uh, you mean the CEOs are out there fighting with the other CEOs, and they make an example of the uh, of themselves to these employees? Go go back to the guy who landed the airplane on the Hudson. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah he's from Danville. You want to know the reason that the plane only sort of sank? Uh, right? uh, everybody silicone pits on it. 
Yeah, because the CEOs took all the flaps out of their books. So as they were in panic mode, trying to get all of the buoyancy things shut so that it would stay afloat, they took all the tabs out. So while the pilot is in emergency mode, while the co-pilot is in emergency mode, while all the flight attendants are in emergency mode, the co-pilot's looking through the book going, where's the I, goddamn I, I'm stuff? I'm sorry. I thought pilots and co-pilots used iPads now. for no, uh, an airplane, he called the co-pilot up. He was a piece of yep. plastic. <laughs> so the when management... When management thinks that those little tabs are absolutely nothing, what do you think that they think about the flight attendants and you carrying your luggage on and then the ticketing okay, and let, whether let, you let get me, bumped? Let, 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 let me give you a. Let me give you a. Let me tell you about this scenario, and that is that I must have called three, four different times, gotten three or four different people. One of them said the engineers are working on it. The other one said I'm pushing the buttons right here. Another one told me it'll be on in 10 minutes. I mean, nobody, nobody, <laughs> had, nobody had the right information. Or, or consistent information. Hey, but he was if telling you the truth. That gotten that the same answer three times, you would have been happy with what they with what they were telling you. The but you said, got what I'm not happy about is I asked five push. times about the all house DVR and whether that would keep working, and they he, she assured me it would, and that's why I took the deal. Yeah, because yeah, people don't know. People really don't know. They're just guessing. Why? Well, you know, they're guessing, they're guessing, and then I got myself committed to Spectrum, although I, they, there's no, uh, uh, you know, there's no, you're not locked you in. It, with with, with uh, Fios, you're locked in for two years, but for every month you have it, they, it starts at 350 it, it goes down right. $10, so... You know. And if you move, you can always move the service somewhere else. And well, as long as you can get it. They'll let you out of it if it's not available. Yeah. I mean, oh, you really? know what's strange? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. These were talking about the plane and all that, and they were fighting. Like, the, the workers were fighting with the passengers. Yeah. I would never fight for my company. I'm going to have a fist fight with the customer if you didn't pay. It's so stupid. It's, it's almost it's, like it's, they're taking the job for seriously. It's absolutely management. It really yeah, is. Like, it's starting to fight for that. Like, you're going to have a fist fight. Can you imagine? If, like, I don't want to make fun of the workers, but I would have just walked away. It's like, you know what? I really don't care about the passenger. Like, if you want to throw a tantrum, throw a tantrum. It wouldn't pay me enough money to have a fist fight or an altercation with this guy. Right. It's they almost really like it's retarded. Else. They wanted to put somebody else in the guy's seat. And? That was uh, the, the, the Chinese guy that got bloodied up. Uh, right. They they drag them off the plane. But why are they? It's so it's crazy. Like you drag somebody off the plane. And, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, it's it's management. Management says all of these X Y and Z has to happen. They blindly follow it, and this is. What I think you're right about that. I think companies are run like shit. Really, I think. Well, this is. I'll tell you I, what. I'll tell you what. I, I I work in a in a service organization, and and maybe it's different, but service in my company is is only as good as the the local people who are providing it That's the company right. itself the company itself you have to fight up in order to get service it's just the way it is i have a customer who needs to get something done it's a good customer that i have to fight for that customer up to my management i tell the customer we'll get it done for you and then the co the company says no we're not doing it and then we force the issue, and we get it. But it comes out of some budget somewhere to pay for this thing, I, I, and eventually we get it. So if if you don't give a shit as an employee, if we just tell you, I'm sorry that you know, that's why I do not like people who say, I uh, you know, where they apologize for something. You don't really give a rat's ass about customer service because if you did, you'd do something about it. You'd push up, absolutely. and that's what we do. We push up for a good customer. For most customers, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, yes, Jason. Hey, I just wanted to. I don't know if I can show you this, but I'll, if you can see that, yeah, that's uh, twelve ribbon fiber. Uh, I've been doing the splices on it to splice a uh, fiber splicing, so that's what would be going into your apartment. Okay, fine. Yeah, you yeah. Can't, is that you can't, flexible? Uh, yeah, it's, and, then, and know, it's, then it it supposedly goes wow. to it supposedly goes to a box, and then then the coaxial is then hooked up to that box, you know. Okay, that's what I'm told. 
you know. Files. Well, I say that, that's what I've been starting to get trained on, and uh, you know all the all the you know, at least AT and T and Verizon. Well, there's a, there's, are a, to there's put a, in a box. Out. There's a box right outside of my apartment, and that's got the fiber in it. And then they just lead that into my apartment, and uh, they they hook this box or something that it's hooked to. Uh, it's called ONT. Yeah, they, they hook that to the coaxial, and then it goes throughout the entire house. You know. So, I got fiber in my refrigerator. I put it in my smoothie every morning. Yeah, that's I. Yeah, that's, you say that. that, that's what fiber is good for. You know. Yeah. 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 Doesn't that bind so, to fiber? No. Yeah. So I, I cut the cable, but I upped my dollar amount with AT and T. So I hope you're happy. You need a raise because they're taking a lot of money from me right now. Uh, what did you go to a Roku and an Apple TV? Uh, Renee, well, it's when I'm you. Sorry? Cut the, when you cut the cable, what'd you do? Go to a, a Roku and an Apple? Well, see, I'm not at that point yet, but right now all I'm doing is getting all my television through uh, AT&T because it's going to be a hot spot on the So I set up all of my data lines so that I could not get charged extra stuff, but I'm, I'm getting direct tv hbo and comedy central and sci-fi and all the rest of those guys uh via at&t's uh wireless service right now if you would have paid and got the uh at&t or direct tv now app and pre prepaid two months you could have got a free roku yeah it was like 35 bucks a month or something really i'm going yeah. back <laughs> do they still have that deal? You told me about it. And I, I talked to the guy at the AT&T store, and I had some other business to do with him. I said, don't let me out of here without buying that deal. And he forgot to remind me at the end that I uh, walked. I don't know. I know that it was just it was a promotional thing, and then they did it again just recently. Well, it's, yeah. not a, it's not a big deal. They were doing it here in, uh, in um, Manhattan. They gave somebody that I know Roku uh, so yeah. they could pick up stuff. Um, uh, and the fact is that, you know, I would go, let, let me put it this way, if I didn't have girlfriend here, uh, I would completely cut the cable, just go with the internet being installed at seventy nine ninety a month at that fast, wonderful speed, and then go and start subscribing to all the various things that I wanted to have, because I figured that would bring the whole price upwards to about 180 or $190, you know. I have a caveat on that subscribing stuff. Yeah, you know, I subscribed here and there. I got Hulu. It's paying on a uh, on a credit card. I got another thing. It's going through the Roku billing. I got another one. It gets billed by Apple. And you know, if you asked me if I try to turn it all off or or switch it or something, I don't know which one's paying it. It's all going <laughs> automatically. I, I, I'm you know what I would have done if I knew that I would have just used one pay type to pay uh, every one of the services. But, you know, there I am. Oh, I want Showtime. Yeah, okay. Boom. Uh, you know, what card is in front well, of me? Well, you know, here uh, we get everything. I mean everything. I mean, we get all every pay channel you can imagine. We, and and well, it's more than I was getting with Time, with Time Warner and with Spectrum. So, nice. Saving money, Jason. You know what I noticed now? I noticed with all the channels, yeah. there's so much on. I don't even know what to watch them. I lose interest now faster. Because I have so much, do you have so much to choose from? Well, you know, know, somebody now. the other day called this program. I think it was uh, it was uh, uh, Bree, and he said that you know that he he had uh, um, uh, a Sirius in the car, and uh, that uh, there were just so many channels he didn't know what to listen to, and I think that you really have too much <laughs> stuff on TV. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have I have Spectrum, and I one day when I wasn't. I had nothing to do, and you know I'm not working, and uh, I'm on a on a fixed income. I figured, what the hell? I, I'll spend the day and make it my job to go through every channel that the cable company has. And about three hours later, I had gone through channels I didn't even know existed. You know? And they were religious channels. Were there? One of them is HD. One of them isn't. You just insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really gets ridiculous. You know. How many people do we have now? Here comes Vernon Nunn. Hello, Vernon. Eleven, including you, Alex. Yeah. Vernon, are you there? Watch that toilet, though. There we uh, go. There's Vernon. Okay. Boy, nobody else call because I I, I, I I then have to expand the picture and I I already did that once to get Brian in, but now everybody's in and they're looking good. And uh, yeah, yeah, wow, that's a that's a pretty picture there. Uh, in fact, let's tell everybody who these people are. First, that's Rob Alfano, 
and then that's Jason, and uh, then that's Phil Meyer, and right there, well, he's somewhere kissing uh, his dog or something is Anthony Magno, and there is, of course, Brian, and there is Scott Boddicker, and there is Mike, and there is Renee Collins in Hawaii, and up in Connecticut, it's Jeff Stein, and Vernon, where are you from again? Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, he's muted. Oh, you're muted. Can't you're, hear you. You're muted, Vernon. No, I, I said Kentucky. I think he's from Kentucky. Vernon, we can't hear you. You're muted. Are, are, are you there? No? You're still muted. We still can't hear you. You're, you're talking. So Jason, can you just talk, can you get eight by Skype so some of this would stop? What? I said, can you get AT and T to buy Skype so some of this can stop? Some of this. Well, crap. it doesn't mean that AT and T is going to be able to fix it either. No, <laughs> actually, I have to admit, over, overall, uh, Skype for the PC uh, it works better than it ever has before. But Skype for the Mac is a loser. Uh, also, I think Outlook for the Mac and the the Win the Office Microsoft products for the Mac are kind of not as. All good I have as to say should. is I have a Mac and I've never had problems with my Skype. Well, you never. One had, time, actually, I did have problems. With my I Skype. don't. Well, I, when I'm when I'm trying to do the show here, you, people can see how it looks. You know, all these people are like like a strip of people. Um, are you, can you can you talk now, Jason? Are you, uh, not Jason, uh, but uh, uh, Vernon. 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 Are you there? Yeah, I changed, oh. I changed microphones. There I was trying to use a different mic, and yeah. apparently I don't have the connections right. Okay, well, you have them. It sounds great anyway. Uh, oh, but anyway, uh, so when I do the show, and I've done it some nights on sun, on Saturday, I use uh, my Mac, and um, the picture is just... Now I got it. <laughs> and hours later. Is an, oh, hey, oh, it's a royal a, flush you, that we have here. You recognize this, Phil? D104. Yeah, I had it hooked up, but apparently I didn't get the wiring right. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, whatever you're using. Don't sounds you have great. to hold something? No, no. Uh, that's just if you're hooked up to a radio, you have to squeeze the handle to make it transmit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you want to use it all the time, just put a rubber band around the handle. Well, I mean, there's there's two different wires that come out of it. One is to key the radio, and the other one is for the audio. And apparently, my soldering connection yeah. wasn't that good, so. Let me see here. What time is it? See, I, I it usually I have a clock right here that's ticking away, and I can look at it and I can time. Uh, Eleven oh seven. Seven past the hour. Seven past uh, the hour. Yeah. What what happened to your time signals? Well, let me ask you something. You can't look at your computer up in the corner and see the uh, the time. No, uh, this PC doesn't have a clock up in the corner. It used to though. That's what I had, and it's missing right now. Uh, possessed. Yeah. I, I I have no idea why it's not showing up. So okay. if I do that, can you see my clock? Yeah. No, <laughs> <don't have> yeah that's <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, uh, let me uh, let me, I guess, bring up a subject that uh, is uh, oh boy, I hate to even uh -oh. bring this up because we're we're going to talk about the devil again. And, yeah, I like uh, talking about the devil. Uh, no, no, but but what happens is it, it encourages him. The latest news today: there are two things. Number one, he signed an order that uh, transsexuals can't be in the military. Okay? Yeah. Seven days after the operation before they can go back to work. Is seven days? 200 and something 207 days. 207 days. Well, you know, uh, I'm sorry. Some people have to have their needs met. And uh, But anyway, oh. that is not the big news. The big news is he pardoned Joe Arpaio. Yeah. yeah. Sheriff Joe, good guy. Well, oh, keeping those crap. Native Americans out of America. Bruh. How is he a good <laughs> guy? Despite the fact that he made these criminals wear pink and uh, put them out in tents in the desert, you know? This, guy's this guy knows how to treat criminals. You know, this yeah, is yeah, guy, you know, know, that's law enforcement for so the people. people. This is a guy who stars. knows how to keep them criminals. Because after being treated like that, they get out of a situation like that and they're hell-bent for murder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you know, you don't put you don't put a tiger in the cage and then keep poking him with a stick, knowing that eventually you're going to have to open that cage and that guy that uh, well, he's going to come out. Well, let's send him back to Detroit, huh? After after they free him, they send him over to Jason's area. 
Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I just think that uh, the people there um, uh, gave uh, uh, Joe uh, or Pio a sentence, and he should have to, he should have to deal with it. You know, right? It was unfair. Well, it was unfair. Was there a trial? Wasn't he given was a, a ruling by a judge what, not was to there do a, something that was they it, disobeyed that yeah, ruling? It was, yeah. it was a contempt. What thing. was his reason that pardoned him? Besides well, that, he's the and how was it unfair, <laughs> Phil? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, because he's he was doing his job, and uh, the contempt order he stood up to, uh, I think he was doing the right thing. Hey, no, he, was he wasn't doing Americans. the right thing because. Hey, Phil, as, would you admit to minute, the fact me, me, uh, your party is in favor of uh, selective government, not limited government, much like the other side, the left is for selective government, not uh, bigger government. How are we? For uh, I don't know that the left is for selective government. <laughs> bigger government. I thought they were, there isn't a government program the left doesn't want uh, provided. So would you admit that you're for selective government and not limited government? I don't, I don't understand the definition of selective government then. Oh, selective government, the, uh, that which benefits you and your cause. Well, you know, that's why you have the majority that vote uh, for... Uh, you mean the four million people who vote, who outvoted those who voted for Donald Trump? Well, granted, they were in the wrong locations in terms right. of the electoral, in terms of the electoral system. But you cannot be telling me that. Uh, 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 um, That's that, not the uh, way it works in a republic. But well, uh, it doesn't know, work that way. You're right, but you're saying a majority of people voted conservative when they did not. No, uh, but when you when you pass a law or something in that sense, you have to have a majority. Uh, of representatives that represent us to uh, to who are elected via gerrymandered districts and hackneyed uh, and hackneyed precincts. Hey, they were good enough for Obama. Why not? Uh, why not? Well, I else? won't argue there. But Obama won by a majority of the popular but, you know, majority. He, uh, yeah, uh, most of them dead from Chicago. Yeah, they digging them up the road. Yeah, but. Do you think the president has too much power, even all the other presidents that they're able to just block these people? I do. They should just take that away from them. I do now. Like, why do they have to have a total power? Well, well, do we here's what I At least here, four here. or five, two one or two additional co-equal branches of government. Yeah, but here, well, here's what I'm saying. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Branch branch because you, you, you completely overlook something that Phil said where he was in the wrong. And that is, a, he said that Joe Arpaio was only doing his job. His job is to enforce the law. He broke that law by refusing to go along with a, 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 uh, uh, an order. A judicial ruling. A judicial ruling. His job yeah. is to enforce judicial rulings, not to take it upon himself to not enforce them. So the Nazis that said they were just following orders. Uh, this has nothing and, to and do with that, that Phil. No, Phil, Phil, Phil no, it's not the it's, same thing. It's, it has, it, it, it's not the same thing, so Phil. So then, Phil, you would be for their pardon, then, right? You'd be for the pardoning of the Jews who are just doing what they were told, or for the Nazis that are just doing what they were told to do, right? Uh, not necessarily, but uh, well, you no, know, you can't yeah, give it you to know, you, you, did, you didn't go after. Uh, well, what, what? Because the Nazis were going after the Jews, not Mexicans, and that why you're why you're. No, you know, if if you if you're exterminating people, it's one thing. If you refuse to follow the orders, no, of you're, the you're, you Nazis. are you are. Uh, look, Phil, you're a policeman, all right. Yes. You are given oh. orders by, say, a court that you're supposed to act in a certain way. Yeah. So you act in that way. You don't go against the court orders. Your job That's is true. to, would, in fact, I wouldn't have, and, and if, uh, if, if, if it were a court order you didn't agree with, then you have the right to quit, but right. you don't have the right to countermand those orders. Am I right about that? Yeah, I'd agree with okay, that. Okay, then Joe Arpaio should have quit. That's true. But it would have been age discrimination. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh bull. <laughs> You know, the only reason he 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 pardoned Arpaio is because he knew it would make everybody apoplectic. You know. Yeah. Yep. No, 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 no. Exactly. Alex, Wait a minute, that, what, Scott. That's not correct. What? The reason he pardoned that sheriff was so that these uh, uh, investigations into his Russian investigations, all those underlings that Mueller is going to try to turn against Trump. They're going to sit back and just wait to get their pardon, and they won't have to 
go against Trump, uh, do any testimony against Trump. That's what it is. It's a smokescreen. I don't think Trump is just showing these people I can pardon anybody anytime for anything, and you don't have to listen to Mueller. I don't think he's going to pardon Flynn. I'm sure he will. Yeah, he will. He will. He'll pardon uh, everybody. Or Bannon or anyone else. Uh, Bannon is not under criminal investigation. Not yeah, yet. <laughs> any anybody that gets swept up in the uh, in the in the deal. Oh, the witch hunt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, they're all going to get pardoned. Hey, Phil, I just thought of something that I don't believe is, uh, I, I don't believe in government spending. Okay? Mm-hmm. I, I consider myself a lefty, and I don't think the federal government should be giving away tax breaks to multinational corporations when they I don't, don't need it. When they don't, don't need it. How many years have they been doing that? A long time, but, you know. All right. And how you many said, years? You said, you, you said a while ago, you yeah. said a while ago, that you that you didn't know any lefties who didn't like government spending of any kind. Well, there's one thing you're wrong. Uh, okay, so you can come up, you dig down far enough, and into uh, in, in, into the, your box of resistors, and you finally come up with one that's got that color. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm telling you, uh, you know, you can always find an exception to the rule. Well, I tell you, my philosophy in life, Phil, is probably different than yours. I believe we are all in this together. It's not hooray for me and screw you. Well, I never thought that uh, either. A lot of Republicans do. They don't want the government helping out people who are less fortunate. I don't think that they're looking for people that are less fortunate. They just believe that it's, it's charity, and charity begins at home. Charity begins with their church, with their uh, I've heard this before, Phil, but if the church were able to do it, why haven't they been doing it all these decades? Because of the tax exemption. Because, uh, yeah, you, they got tax got, exempt steps. You've got enough people that have been taken away from their church and, and so forth with broken families and drugs and television. That's that's why the, the church is gone. You know, why do they the want to go to church? Do it, that these people should just fall through the cracks, right? Hey, Phil, you mean the original source of fake news, right? The church. Yeah. Uh, Jason? Oh, yes. Jason? But it, but By the way, the what answers. happened to Renee? Renee, where yeah, are you, dear? Was, what happened to you? She, she disappeared. Yeah, she disappeared. That's that AT&T um, connection. <laughs> connection, yeah. Jason. Jason. Hey, Phil. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my, my microphone was on mute. I wanted to ask Phil. You know, like, what about with the bank bailout? Didn't they prove that it would have been cheaper for the government to just basically buy everybody's houses or pay their mortgage off instead of giving the money to the banks? I don't know. Do you think that would have just been, you know, a welfare handout to the people, but it was okay instead to give them a welfare handout to the banks? The bank bailout was a welfare bailout, but they didn't want them to fail. Uh, you but know, they could have basically done the same thing by paying off the mortgages. Not necessarily. Oh, banks would have got their money back. It was the bank that loaned the money in the first place. Yeah, but and the bank got the money, the money from the government. Who would have paid off their mortgage? Uh, they got it from uh, the bank from borrows the money bank. from the government. Well, they borrowed from the central bank, it up. which is whose money? It's our money, but uh, yeah. and trusted the banks to do the right thing. Ah, so we know that they can't do the right thing. Uh, so let's let's destroy the, all the regulations the for the for. government. Because Imagine Jason what that would have done to the economy if my house was paid off and I'm not making a house payment every month. I could have been buying other stuff. You know, so the banks would have got their money back. And then plus, I would have been putting money into the economy in other aspects instead of just giving the banks a bailout. Absolutely. And, you know, but houses are just a you, small You build place. just like you say, hey, houses. How, how are houses built? Hey, Rob, how's your house built? Did they build the roof first or did they build the foundation? It's oh, they put small, the foundation in first. But you yeah, can't go to that. Home Depot and buy yourself a water heater uh, if there's no bank to uh, to give the credit card and to take care of it. There's, there's a lot more than just that. Wait a minute. Wouldn't well, that actually, money get flooded into the off, banks? Yeah, that money would have gone off, right to the banks. I would have bought that, that uh, water heater for cash. Right. So you because want to go the, to cash society. Oh, I'm just saying, if, wait a minute. if you would have if, paid if, off my house instead of giving the bank the money, I would have been sitting there spending that extra money, that the hundreds of dollars I'm paying on my house payment every month, I would have been going out and buying other stuff. Hey, what, you know, if difference? I could get out of my obligations. That'd... And, and hey, I would have bought more carpet from Carpet One if I didn't have uh, a house payment. No, nah, you, you, you probably would have let the house go into disarray because uh, it's only worth what you pay for it. And if you paid nothing for it, then you have no pride of ownership. You know, Bullshit. that's Bullshit. Yeah. I, I'd agree with runners, but not homeowners. 
Well, it's the same thing. If they give it to you for nothing, then as far as you're concerned, uh, you know, you're a squatter. You know, now, now you got more money in your pocket to be able to do stuff with your home. That yeah. money they and gave the, the banks family. directly could have gone to homeowners to pay it into the bank. Right. But so what's the difference? Not everybody was in default, and the homeowner didn't pay it into the bank in the first place. If the homeowner didn't default to the bank, you wouldn't have this issue. You know, if you had homeowners that didn't say that they were making two hundred grand a year driving a cab and uh, didn't have to qualify. Now, I'm not saying that the bank and these loans uh, companies were not complicit. They were taking their commissions, uh, and they didn't care if they had somebody who would sign on the line, which is dotted. They would take. They would. They would loan you any amount of money because they didn't give a shit as long as they got their commission. Because and, they knew that they would get the price, the the value of the house back through the foreclosure. Or right. maybe what they were trying to sell the consumer, saying, "Hey, you know, you buy the house right now, you go on this balloon mortgage, and then you live in the house. You know, the houses are going up so quickly in value, you'll be able to refinance because you got equity in the house." And well, people are smart enough to, you know, yeah, it, it's right. greed, that, but that it's not greed. being educated. And well, is people taking advantage of the the lower? People. Now you're you're you went to high school and you know that you, it's uh, you know you can't. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something for nothing, that's how you end up with nothing. You know, but when uh, somebody's not telling you it's something for nothing, you're, you're telling you, hey, you're making your payments on this, and house values are going up, and you're going to build this equity. That's a gamble. Wait a minute, I'm having Those, tr I'm having trouble with. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, just everybody, you're going to see a little work being done here on your screen, but don't worry about it. Hang up, uh, Renee, and let me Again? call you back. What? Okay. She's coming through on everything. Oh, oh is she? Right here. Is yeah. she there? Yeah. I can hear her. Oh, is she Next there? Time. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, because I was clicking on nothing was happening. So, I don't know. Oh, well, see, I had a phone call, so I hung up because I knew it was going to take a little while. So, I hung up yeah. and, and not took, and I didn't want to take up the yeah. space. So, I just kept called back right now. That's why I got back in. So, it wasn't you. Yeah. No, I know it wasn't <laughs> was me. I didn't say anything horrible, I don't think. <laughs> I really made fun of you, sir. It's really you know, uh, uh, Jeff's been very quiet tonight. Anything to say, Jeff, about any of this stuff? I don't know. I'm uh, I'm unfortunately being very quiet. <laughs> There's not much about this uh, discussion that uh, is going to get uh, get me all interested. Yeah. Well, you know. Else to talk about? I, I've gotten to the point where I'm getting very tired of talking about Trump. Me too. Uh, yeah, and and uh, I just don't think we should give him the publicity. That's just my that's my thinking on it because he lives, he lives for getting attention paid to him. You we know, can talk about your cable some more. You, well, that, 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 <laughs> that, that's the thing. It, it's the only discussion that we can have. That's you know we we could talk about cable television and services and computers and stuff, but really the the the. the What's interesting that's going on is what's happening in this country right now. So, by the way, know, let, let me say hello to Schmoody, who's out there listening tonight. She knows who she is. Yes, go ahead. The, the media made Donald Trump. They were greedy enough to think that if they uh, gave him all of this coverage during uh, during the uh, uh, the the initial uh, primaries. I'll give you that, Phil. Hmm? I agree. No, yeah, I, I don't a, think any of us will disagree with that. Name so they they created this monster. Yeah, you know, they and you created voted for it. You they called him a monster. Well, That's to begin with, let's remember. Board, let's remember all the free publicity he got, courtesy of the news people. He didn't have to buy time on television. Right. Television was giving him the time gratis. Right. That's why he spent forty five million or something, and Hillary had to spend what two three hundred million. Yeah, but I still wish she would have turned around and said, "Back off, creep." I really wish she had. <laughs> Me too. You know. And that's why I call the media horse. She's from yeah. the same swamp, though, uh, as the rest of them. Oh, the same. And, and, and there's another swamp, and that's where that's where that's where Trump that. crawled out of. It doesn't. They're all crawling out of it. At least Trump is 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 screwing with these guys. Uh, you know, McConnell. He's not doing his job. Well, while he's screwing what with do you them, mean he's, he's not doing us. his job? He tried to do his job, but you can't force uh, yeah. something to happen that isn't going to happen. They said they had a plan. They had nothing. Well, right. so, wait, yeah, was, was Trump in there helping them create the plan? No. Doesn't, no he doesn't have an idea. He doesn't have the, years ago. He doesn't have an idea of what he wants. 
It doesn't but matter. Phil, that, that's why Hillary, years Hillary would have known that they didn't have a plan. And if she wanted to do something, she would have known. You guys don't have a plan. Let's work together and get something done. Uh, Hillary and we can to... make it look yeah. like you guys okay, have Okay, idea. Phil, uh, yeah. let's go to Rob. He's got his hand up. All right. Phil, Trump said he had a plan when he was campaigning. Yeah, he did. Right? We heard that it was going to be the best health care, the cheapest health care. It's going to be so great. I thought this was Forbes' uh, plan. I read I read Forbes' new book, and his plan uh, outlined a, a number of issues to fix, uh, fix health care and, and to have uh, health care be stronger. Uh, but no one went near the but, thing but that he recommended. You didn't, you didn't let me finish, Phil. My point being that you're willing to blame the Republicans and, and O'Connell for not having a health care plan, right? Trump told you and you voted for him that he had a plan. Why don't you hold him liable for that? Why don't you hold him responsible for that? You're willing to hold Mitch McConnell responsible and the Republicans, but you're not willing to hold – you don't hold Trump – you don't hold Trump responsible for anything, and, no, and not just you, but everybody who voted for him. Nobody wants to hold him accountable for anything he says. Why is that? Well, why? Most, I'll tell you why. Because 99% of the stuff he said he's he's trying to do, whether it's the wall, whether it's uh, the, the Muslim ban. Oh, that thing is stupid. Oh, I got to tell you hey, You know, uh, what's your name? Uh uh, Listen Mike. to how what? he handled the wall. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. One, 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 one at a time. This can't. Wait, this is going to become a clusterfuck. Yes, first. Okay, first hand that was up was Jason's. Then uh, Tony, uh, and then I don't know. Did you have your hand up, Jeff? Jeff had his hand up. Yeah. Hey, I, I just wanted to say real quick, Phil. You do know the majority of illegal immigrants do not come over the Mexican border, don't you? They don't walk across it. No, no, they no, come they, over here legally on visas yeah, and, and airplanes. Yeah. They fly and they over top of it. So why are you wasting billions of my fucking dollars to build a fucking wall? Well, that and, that, and, and the wall's not even needed. A better computer system to track these people is what is needed. More pe more yeah. money into the law enforcement is what is needed. It's well, not a fucking wall. Well, you know, okay, wait, 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 Jeff. I, I wanted to know who besides myself believed that that moving a new structure by the edge of the United States and Mexico is any benefit to us. Does anyone who thinks it's a good idea? No. Nah. You voted for a guy who said that that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, but there's a lot of okay. ways to build a wall. But T he wants to build a literal wall. A physical wall. Tony's got yeah. his hand up. Tony. Yeah, in response to Rob, when he said, Rob's right. Not meaning like Phil, but whatever Trump said, they never hold him accountable. And I have a, I have a term for that from when John Gotti, they were after him in the paper, they called him the Teflon Don. And this is Trump. Whatever yep. he says, he said the same thing about Vegas. Right yeah. off. Hey, I, I, yeah. you guys are all yeah. missing the big story tonight. Mike which got is, his hand up. Said. I didn't see your hand up, Phil. Mike had his hand up. Oh, okay. okay, Phil, you said you're going to build a wall. Did you realize that the Rio Grande every once in a while floods? And when that floods, you know that wall is going to move over towards Mexico. That means 99% of the land, so that wall is going to go, it's going to end up in Mexico. Am I, I right or I wrong? think they've all, they've all already <laughs> yeah. figured yeah. that you can't build a wall across the Rio Grande. Yeah. Uh, you know, and of but course you don't have to. A waste you, of time once of money. you once you get to Texas, you don't really don't have to build anything anymore because you hit the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, that's your border. You know, so right. I mean, uh, it, and most most of the, uh, the wall has already a lot of the wall has already been built. You know, where they need it is where the border these crossings are. They know where the crossings are. They have enough yeah, surveillance but, you know, Jason, to know. Jason, you, you, so you completely, just build it completely, miles either side. You completely oh, floss. You know, wait a, wait a minute. Hold on a second, miles. Mike. Mike, you, you completely impossible. just went, just disregarded what Jason said that most of the illegal immigrants in this country aren't from Mexico. Right. Know, but they're, they're, they're from it. They come legally, though. They come on visas and don't go home. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, our system our our system is so lame, the border control people can't talk to the airline people, can't talk to 
blah 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 to keep track of them. And nobody and feels just, no nobody feels that would be important. nobody feels this, particularly sorry for the uh, for the Mexicans who uh, who have to cross that border and do so at great peril. But they could go over a border crossing where they go through customs without any peril. So why shouldn't they do it that way? You know, uh, some walls have to have a door. And uh, but I, you know, a big, I, beautiful door. You know, a big, beautiful, a big, beautiful, but, you know, this door. subject has been beaten to death on GabNet. Uh, the, 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 the thing that went on today that nobody's saying anything about is the missiles that just got lobbed over from uh, North Korea. Oh, and, and no, what, that rocket did it, was a dud. Well, there were many was, missiles, there were a couple of them. Uh, yeah, I think what, Trump told him not to shoot. He told it them. Gave me, it gave me such pleasure to watch Kim Jong Un dance all over Trump last week. Yeah, it gave what did that happen to this missile launch? Uh, because you guys are all mouthing off about. So there's a few things you guys have been talking about that you guys don't worry about right. it. Uh, yeah, he's not aiming for me. He's aiming for Air Force One if he's smart. You know what? Our surface-to-air missiles that meet other missiles, does yeah. anybody know what the accuracy rate of that is? Because it no. ain't that high. That's why and they have know, a bazillion two of them. Ships, two ships that, uh, lost, that lives were lost on out of the four that uh, had collisions uh, this year mm -hmm. uh, had those missile systems on it to, uh, to defeat uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, uh, missiles. And yeah, we're not... We're not we're not that accurate. Uh, I, I don't remember the statistic, but it isn't as good as you guys are making it out to be. Because last week or the week before, I think the only thing, I, I think the only, only thing. That, oh boy, here work. comes here comes Tim, which adds too many people to the group. Uh, hello, Tim. Tim. You there, just, Tim? Oh. Are you he doesn't there? have a picture. Hey, Alex. Are you there, Tim? Yeah. No, this is Schmoody. Oh, hey, hey, Schmoody. It's my old, uh, my old, uh, I guess I could have called you a girlfriend, right? Your BFF. Yeah, we can't see, we can't see you tonight because you're just using the phone, right? I am, but you know, I wanted to say something in regards to the whole border wall and stuff since my son was Hecho in Mexico. Yeah. My, you know, my son's niece, her and her husband, well established in Mexico, they can't even get a visa to visit. They can't even get permission from Mexico to come visit America, they have bank accounts and everything in Mexico because, as she was explaining to me, the government is afraid that once they come over to the United States, they're going to stay. I mean, how ridiculous is that? It would be like when you and I went to Europe, yeah. the United States saying, oh, no, 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 we're afraid that once you get over there that you're going to stay over there. That's going to start well, happening here soon. Stay for six months oh, it and, is. And, and don't allow employment uh, when you go to Europe as an American. What, what do you say? Well, all, all my, all, you know, Gabby and George, all they wanted to do was just come over here and visit like a week. And the government would not give them permission no. just like my to niece. come over here for a vacation. Unless you're over 50, then, oh, yeah, by all means, because, you know, you're not going to contribute to our economy well, anyway. So, yeah, go ahead and visit. Is it the American well, government? No, it is the Mexican government. Wouldn't give them a passport to come over here. Well, you know, that's something that I, that I, I you know, you bring up and that I, I suddenly realize is that really your child is a product of, of, of an immigrant, basically, right? Well, well, Simone was up here for 30 years, worked for USPS, so I guess basically me working at UPS, I was sleeping with the enemy, but <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not funny. I actually have the mailman's kid, uh, but, um, yeah, I was mailman's you, know, kid. <laughs> you know, he married a gal from Hungary who was actually an American citizen, but, and he came over here, but it took him a while. Um, you know, he actually dated a lawyer to get his citizenship over here. Okay, so he's it's he not was that he, easy. He he was legal. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. He had retired and moved to Mexico. And okay. so I'd go down and visit. Yeah, you don't have any trouble coming back up. No, and I haven't gone there since 08. As soon as, you know, when Vicente Fox was in power, he told the cartels, "I don't care what you do. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. Just give us our cut." And keep the rules of engagement. But, you know, once Calderon, you know, I found out he was 
probably going to win the presidency. Um, his family goes, when are you coming back? February of 08. Nunca jamás not coming back. Because I knew <laughs> if Calderon was going to go after the cartels, yeah. and he was going to go after the top dogs, it was going to create a vacuum. And you couldn't pay me to go down there now. When did the bodies start showing up on the border in Mexico when they were chopping people's heads off and so forth? Was that after 08? Yes. And because was, in 08, but prior to that, with Vicente Fox, there were rules of engagement. It was strictly cartel to cartel. And, you know, in 08, just before, I was actually down in Mazatlan when there was, um, between Culiacan and Mazatlan, there was some big shootout between two cartels, and there were 14 people, you know, 14 cartel guys killed, and the army came in town. And, of course, we're joking because... Simone had a Nissan Platina, which is like this metal and plastic Nissan. And I thought, you know, we could have 20 kilos in the back and they'd never know because all the cartels had the big Ford Lobo trucks with the big, huge 28-inch rims. Boy, you know, a lot, now, of, you know a lot about this. Oh. So they could have just shipped it through you, through UPS. Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Then they'd Most be using of the drugs are put on semi trucks and driven over the border with you know fake product in the back and you know the front half is full of drugs. Yeah. Hey, you either take la plata or la pluma. You either take the money or the lead. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> no, it's not good. But that's how it is. But now there's no rules of engagement down there. You know, you've got these poor migrants coming from you know, Guatemala and Venezuela trying to come to America and, and the cartels are just taking them. I, I, but you know what? I we're thought, just as guilty because we're the consumers. So we're what do I know? I thought those people that they were killing on the border were just normal people and they were doing it to put fear in the, uh, no. in the people's uh, 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 craw. And it works. So these were they just normal people? You know, when they see a, it was a hundred bodies and no, no heads no. and stuff like that. No, those are gang wars. Okay, so you know it's on, a mix. But anyways, yeah. mm. well then also they on the women's side of this, they used to butcher the crap out of what they would behead the Catholic, the hookers down there, nine and ten deep, and leave them on the road, and they'll take the heads and put them somewhere else. And say this is well, because think, you're well, think God. about it. Okay, so these government guys are in cahoots with the cartels. So all these bitches go to these big parties and they see these government, you know, these, you know, government entities. So what do the cartels, you know, the guy says, hey, you know, I'm the government of this town. This bitch is going to snitch. So, yeah, they use them and get rid of them. And and we don't want them coming over here, or at least Republicans don't want them coming over here. And it sounds to me like maybe they're right. Well, well we're the consumers. Hold, hold on a second. Hold slamming on. the heroin. Yeah. We're the ones that are snorting the cocaine. So it's fifty fifty whether yeah. you like it or not. Well, those people are the ones that were there being the drug lords. They're not the ones coming over here looking for jobs to pour some concrete or lay some carpet. Uh, no, I mean, the um, no, there's some that have legitimate jobs, but their job is to establish over here, stay under the radar, but to keep the business running. And, hmm. and I'll tell you, because I am, uh, you know, I am the result of an illegal immigrant. You know, my grandma came over here illegally, you know, met my grandpa, who was also, you know, he was born over here, but his parents were border jumpers to have him over here. And so my grandparents, basically what you, you know, you would make my grandpa illegal too. So, you know, I'm the result and I'm a upper middle class American. I don't have a criminal record. My grandparents have criminal records. My grandfather, you know, who was, you know, a anchor baby, you know, he was a business owner, owned 10 houses, 15 houses at his, you know, peak, you know, so, you know, the majority of these people coming over here, they're just good working Americans, man. Hey, and you got to remember, they're Native Americans, too. Who's knocking on your door? I hear somebody knocking on your door. Oh, is that yeah. ice? <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> well, you know what? It really, it's not what you have while you're over here. You know, at least for me and my friends and family, it's, it's how you treat the people around you. So if you come over here and you get well-established and you, and you treat other people around you. I mean, I live in Tracy, California, so we have a huge Hispanic community. 
What, what about those uh, that family that had uh, kids here and uh, the husband and the wife were both just deported uh, a week or two ago? Uh, you know, they were here for 25, 30 years. They were law-abiding and so forth, but they were here illegally, and, and they got deported. Uh, Excuse uh, me, yeah. did you arrest the white guy who hired them? No. <laughs> did you deport the white guy that hired them? No. Did he go to jail in any way, shape, or form, that white guy that hired and, them because they were here for 20 years? No. Not that, a thing. And, no, and no, well, wait a minute. Also, also, let's, no, let's face it. Let, let's be honest about it. For those 20 or 30 years, nobody really did much about it. And so they didn't have the incentive to suddenly become citizens or whatever. I mean, it, 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 and the fact that they, they didn't just slip under the radar, the radar wasn't on. Okay. In American and, and, history, it's more of a recent time thing that Mexicans are a problem. They, because there's always been illegals coming over from Mexico, you know, crossing the border, coming over here to work, going back home. You know, it, it's been an ongoing thing. Well, like are, I said, are they, are they, it wasn't a problem back then. Yeah, are they really a problem, though? I mean, no, if, if you look at the all. overall picture, I mean, okay. the gangs, the gangs, and wait, the strong wait, wait, hold on a second. Let, let Kathleen. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain something to you. Alex, you've been to my parents' house. Yes, right? I have. Yes. Okay, so my parents' house is uh, 6,000 square feet sitting on five acres overlooking the in ocean. Fact, they if, have I had, if I had a chance, have... if I had a chance, I'd move in. But go ahead. Yes, you would. <laughs> and if anything ever happens, you and Marjorie are more than welcome. Yeah. Okay, so they have a. We have our guy, Jesus, who's absolutely family. He is, he was illegal. So he ended up getting picked up by ICE. And, and this was years ago, probably about 10 years ago. My parents fought. And it wasn't only my parents, but it was another guy by the name of Sid Waterman, who, if any NASCAR, it's a Waterman uh, fuel injection. My parents went to court. Both, you know, Mr. Waterman and my parents, put the bill and they did everything they could to keep Jesus in the country and it worked but it took them about a good year and a half wow. of going to court every time there was a court date and representing him saying hey 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 this is you know this guy's never done this he's never done that but my parents fought for him and they were able to get him um, citizenship in this country it's yeah, how much justice can you afford yeah uh, uh, Jason yeah. And that's the problem that we have in this country is we want to sit there and let all these doctors and lawyers and everybody from other countries let them into our country instead of letting, you know, give us your tired, give us your hungry, give us your uh, huddled that masses. Poem, that poem is not part of the Constitution. It's, it's not, not part of the no, Constitution. It's not part of the but Constitution, but it's you part of our you, it's part of our morality. Have Phil. wage jobs that you need to fill. Americans aren't filling them anymore. So why don't you bring these immigrants in who are going to fill them so instead of have them come in illegally? We need that. Uh, we need that. Wait a minute. Uh, Mike has his hand up. Why don't they have the old, but remember the, uh, uh, Phil, the Versero program? No, what, the, what's. It was the Versero program when the Mexicans used to come over across the border, pick the vegetables, make their money, and head back toward the border. Well, Bush wanted a double. Let me, let me just, just shut up for a minute. Excuse me? <laughs> The Bracero yeah, program worked for many, many years where the Mexicans used to come over across the border, pick the vegetables, you know, work the crops and everything for a couple, like a year or so, and they, they went back over. Why I'm don't they have that, 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 that program work fine? Yeah, no, it didn't. It, it worked fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But Mike, Mike. It See, all, Mike, can't do that Mike, not Mike, it worked, well, it, Mike, it worked up to a point. The fact is, though, that the owners of these farms were taking advantage of these people and paying them very low wages and I, I, and and finally if you may remember they had to go on strike true i agree you know. I agree. I agree now bush wanted to give them working visas and that was voted down uh you know and i i would have no problem with that if uh, you had a worker that uh, wanted to apply for a visa so they could come over here and do these jobs. You know, we got these H-1B visas. Why not have a uh, H-2B for uh, the guy that picks the cherries? Yeah, well, you know, I mean... It'd be uh, the same thing. It'd be the same thing, Phil. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be like the program. They, they, I they basically do, because they, they bring in migrant workers every single year. Like yeah, but it, it'll be legal. Yeah. You know, legal. We know who's coming well, in. I'm saying they do that every year by tens of thousands. Well, yeah. that's good. So, Kathleen, 
Hey, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hang up. Hey, I love you. I miss you. Give a hug to Marjorie for me. Yeah, well, I love you, and I miss you, too. And I've got to say, people don't know this, but Kathleen was maybe, of all the girlfriends I ever had, the one who was the most fun. I mean... Hey, uh, commencement of the game, punch buggy. Yeah, we, we, had, we had some really fun times. I mean, we, you, you were a hoot to be with. I often said, in a way, you were one of the guys. You know, absolutely. I mean, uh, I I remember farting contests with you. I mean, that that's that's what kind of woman she is. But but you may remember. And, I, and your other girlfriends hated me. Y yes, they did. And and. <laughs> That was my son hated you. Yeah, no, I mean they hated you for all the all the all the right reasons. I had a lot of fun with you. I enjoyed your company, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and we we had some good times. We went to Europe together, and uh, uh, you know. I paid my own way. You did you pay your own way? I guess well, you did. Yeah, you I paid. Did, yeah, it was so, that you said it was the first time you had gone to Europe. And didn't have to pay a woman's way. Yeah, you, you. In fact, I think you insisted on paying your, for the flight. I took care of Absolutely. all. I took. I took care of all the hotels, though. So let's. Oh, no, actually, we rotated. Did we really? Yep. Well, that was another thing I liked about her. She had a job, and she didn't need me for my money. And when no. was, uh, Alex's turn was at a youth hostel. But I don't want people to think that we didn't that we didn't share that we didn't share the trip together. You know that I was a cheapskate and you paid for everything. You know. No, not at all. Uh uh. Right. It was like fifty fifty. It was perfect. Hey, next time I'm on the show, I'll fire up the webcam. Do that, will you? We'd love to see you. I will. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody. Everybody, wave goodbye to uh, Kathleen, ladies and gentlemen. Or as she was more appropriately known in the day, Schmoody. All uh, right, Schmoody. Bye. Uh, bye, Schmoody. Uh, don't even don't even ask me where that name came from because I don't know. She made it up, and then we just started calling each other Schmoody. And then years later on the Seinfeld show, there was an episode where he had a girlfriend that he kept calling Schmoopy, and she called him Schmoopy. And all I could think right. of was what Kathleen and I did and how probably we made people vomit because of our yes, little routine. That from you? Huh? Did yeah. Seinfeld writers steal it from you? I don't I don't think so because I don't think they knew it existed, but we've called each other Schmoody and she you know but it wasn't like a cutie pie Schmoody, you know. It was kind of more uh, 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 oh, how can I put it? Endearing. Endearing. It, it wasn't even endearing. It it just had its own reason for existence, but yeah. but she was she was uh, real fun. I mean, you know, and once we we got into a farting contest, and I finally I won it. And here's how I won it: <laughs> the back of my apartment, uh, there was a stairwell, uh, kind of a fire escape stairwell that went up to the apartment. And as we're walking up the steps, I and I was one step above where I let one oh, go. No. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I won the contest. Oh, <laughs> that's that cool. Did it turn into a sharding contest? No, it didn't. Never. No, we were we were we were both younger at the time, so that you know thing. Can't is, trust the fart. <laughs> but uh, and then we had. So to, Phil, yeah. I'd like to know instead of building the wall and putting the money into the wall why can't we dump that money into the computer system that would allow us to hire migrant workers and bring them over here and send them back and be able to track them why can't you guys be interested in doing something like that instead of building a physical wall there's no nobody has put any money into this wall there uh, you know you guys are worried about something that there's no funding for that's and, right, uh, but your president no, is fighting for that. All right. He's not going right. to get it. Get it. He, he he to all he, all he has to do, he's not, all, he ha all he has to do to keep his base happy is right. to look, go through the motions of trying to get it done. Yeah. And then and blaming it, other people right. on why it's not happening. And what he's doing. That's exactly right. Yeah. What he's doing against McConnell and Flake and all these other guys is he's using his the base and he's saying to these guys, you're so worried about the lefties that are complaining about what you're doing, but those people wouldn't vote for you anyway. So just, you know, uh, make the base stronger. I, you know, and I, I understand what he's doing. Uh, whether I agree with all of those things or not is, is a story. But, 
but uh, you know, but the thing is, is he's he's actually uh, you know manipulating in a very positive way, and it looks like chaos from the outside, but it really isn't. He's he's working these guys, and it's and and but the media makes it look like chaos. It makes it look like infighting, but all along this is a power struggle, and uh, and you know, and I don't think you're seeing it. I think you're seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to admit, I think there is a power struggle there, but I think regular Republicans are losing and that these conservative people are pulling the strings on Trump and he, that was the, the Tea Party is the one that helped get him elected and he's kissing their ass and regular I, Republicans. I, I, I would disagree. I would disagree that the Tea Party got him elected. I think uh, the Tea Party no. vir virtually hardly exists anymore. The remnants of the Tea Party are some of the people in Congress who got in saying they were Tea Party. But, like it, but, and, and, but basically, you know, you got to throw a stone, a rock to find a tea partier now. Uh, these were isn't more. That, uh, the, what do they call themselves? The, Ryan, the tea party well, well, guy. Wait, wait, what were you saying, uh, uh, Rob? Isn't that part right. of? Isn't that the group right now? That's no, 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 not the all right. There's a group in Freedom Congress. Freedom Caucus. The Freedom, the Freedom Caucus. Caucus. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's, that's a, who's the, left of the Tea Party. That yeah, that's the newer uh, iteration of it. But you know, Tea Party is pretty much doesn't exist anymore yeah michelle bachman's gone well, uh real Republicans yeah. don't exist anymore yeah and i mean there is still there ted cruz was elected by the tea party he's ted yeah ted yeah, cruz yeah. Is now he's mainstream Rand paul is still there from kentucky he was elected by the tea party yeah. and you don't think his father's name uh helped him get elected no yeah i do i, I don't think, no, it, I think I he, don't, he I, rode the tea party wave I don't think and, it hurt. You know, you know the reason Vince he voted. Part of the Tea Party, isn't he? You, you know the reason that uh, Rand Paul voted against the uh, the the, the uh, repeal of ACA. It wasn't uh, strict enough. It wasn't strict enough. Right? Yeah. It wasn't strict enough. But he's not. You know, even though he, he's a Republican by with the R, uh, he's really not a Republican in the way he's he, a libertarian. Uh, votes like himself. Donald Trump's not a Republican, really. Oh, absolutely not. D Donald. Well, d what is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is just self-serving. He's self a shit disturber. No, he's not a shit disturber. He's <laughs> self-serving. That's what he is. You could just get rid of the second word. <laughs> yeah, he's a shit. <laughs> Giving him a whole lot of credit too, Phil. I don't think uh, Donald Trump has any kind of a magic plan going on. I don't think he has a brain no. enough to do that. Well, I don't. I don't think he best. spends enough time of the day being president uh, to try to be president. Yeah, I mean, uh, he he isn't uh, being very effective as a president. He he watches television all day. Some people make some noise. He goes out and gives a couple of speeches. But he isn't like uh, Obama was a really working president. You knew he went into the Oval Office at nine in the morning and until maybe nine at night he was doing stuff and he was aware of what was happening. Uh, he was a hands-on president. This is not a hands-on president. This is a guy who, who, who has been used to all his life delegating responsibility and he feels the same way about ru running the government, and I don't think you can do it that way because at he the spends end of the his days cheating at golf. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's it, it's and, on it's uh, on you, tweets. you know. And he's a simple mind because all he did was speak in the lowest common denominator ideas to anybody. We want to get rid of people, stop Mexicans from coming in, build a wall. We want to get people back to work open a coal plant everything is the most basic of idea and and he and he's he, he won but that's exactly but that doesn't make you that, a leader that that's why people watch yep, TV. no 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 but phil phil phil, phil 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 what he did was he pawned off on the american public simplistic ideas that people who are not knowledgeable people who are not educated people who are not worldly will say oh that sounds great he played the basically the vulnerably so the stupid. Okay. He, played, he played the bar game. This is the kind of arguments to... people have standing in a bar with a beer. We should yeah. build a wall. And everybody goes, yeah, that's right. We should build. He, he, he spoke in the least common, the not lowest common denominator. And but, he spoke at their language and, he, and, he, and he, he hit a lot of nerves. But let me ask you this. Does he want to build a wall? He Do does think? want to build a wall. Oh, Absolutely. But he also wants the contract. <laughs> 
He told the truth. He wants to build the wall. But he, that's a dumb has, idea. It is, is a dumb idea. idea. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. He that, only wants to. He only wants build to wall. build the wall because he said he was going to build the wall. And I still believe he's not going to build the wall. He's just going to keep saying he wants to, but he's being stopped because of the the uh, uh, fake news, uh, because of the uh, lazy Congress. He's going to blame it on everybody except for the fact that he just didn't push hard enough. Because and that's well, going to be his way out. He's going to say this government isn't ready for a guy like me, and well, he's going to. That's how he's going to weasel his way out. He's going to. I, we, I said this last night, and I'll say it again tonight. He's going to weasel his way out uh, about uh, three uh, three years into his term, so that Pence can become president and have an edge on the next election. Now, yes. don't you think? I don't. I don't think he's a quitter. You know, uh, I don't think yeah, that yeah, yeah. He would do that. He's going to quit when there's a noose that, around his every neck. Every time he filed bankruptcy, he was a quitter. Well, yeah, he's 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 gonna give it up. But well, you that, know what? This wall could be uh, drones. This wall can be electronic. There's so much. Phil, you just it is now. Your, Phil, you keep you keep contradicting yourself. It You're going now. both ends. You're going both ends on this wall thing. I don't think they need to build the wall. But But wait a minute. You just got through. We just got through saying. Thank that you. He spoke to the lowest common denominator, and does he want to build a wall? Yes, he wants he to build. Wa a wall. They want to see and a you wall. You keep saying that he's well. A wall can be anything. No, no, no. He wants a concrete wall or a fence, wall, whatever. He wants right a now. tactical I'm a wall. Builder. I build yeah. physical yeah. wall. I'm going to build so a great wall, and it's going to be a beautiful wall with a beautiful door. He didn't want to send troops to Afghanistan, but he did. He's an uh, idiot. So because he's growing in the in the, in the office, he's yeah. learning what needs to be done. And you know, oh, and, and campaign po uh, oh, problem was crap. build a concrete wall. Build a I'm, just, I'm just wondering what we're going to do about those filthy Canadians. Yeah. That's well, true. we have to build a wall across yeah. Canada. Yeah. Next. That would be that would be a longer wall because there's a there's not a, there's not a, a a gulf up there. You know. Uh, now, they don't, they you don't got it wrong, them. Alex. It's what the Canadians are going to do about us filthy Americans wanting yeah, to get access to their health care. Yeah. If you yeah. want to, if you want to uh, move to Canada, if you want to emigrate to Canada, uh, you Good can't luck. just emigrate off the off off the bat. They they uh, they put you through. They're actually picky. They want people of quality. Oh, you mean like Trump? Oh, don't send us oh, your personal. Bullshit. You want the doctors and stuff like that? <laughs> bullshit, Phil. <laughs> Mike, do you have any other vo vocabulary other than bullshit and and, and also that's what, it's, that's what Trump. That's what Trump is. Is a big bullshitter. Yeah, okay. he's finger up his ass. Yes. Well, that's certainly you know that, that, <laughs> you're kind of the lowbrow version of Brian. Yeah, you, you know <laughs> where Brian comes up with words like Mate. we've never heard before. Uh, yeah. You tend to go to the lowest common denominator and say bullshit, and, uh, Brian. Give us a give us a name for well, President Trump today. <laughs> well, I've heard quite a few of them, and these the ones the two I'm about to give you are not ones I've created myself, but I've heard. One is of course full of shittikus that I've seen on uh, Facebook, and Amy has co-opted for her show with uh, uh, Jack. And the other I've heard more recently as scrotus. <laughs> now, now, did he ride a chariot in that uh, full of shittikus? <laughs> Wasn't that from History of the World? No? Well, it's 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 I am Scroticus. I am Scroticus, I yes. No, I am Scroticus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's amazing. Well, okay, yeah. I, I watched the thing about the renovation at the White House because they put out a little video and the they said Donald Trump, Donald Trump was hands on through the renovation. Donald Trump even helped chose uh, the wall. You know, I'm sitting there going, no, honey, the wallpaper's not tacky. He did not choose that. Did you yeah, see I the, was thinking the exact same thing? Did, 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 you see, did you see the video when they did the, the uh, on the carpet installation? And I got a picture of them taking the carpet in the parking lot, in 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 the in the uh, yeah. in, in the yeah. driveway in front of the uh, Oval Office. Yeah. Anyway, Was hey, listen, here? listen. There's our theme. Uh, been a been a good night tonight. Uh, and thanks for Schmoody calling because she added very nicely to it with her rendition of "Here's What Goes On in Mexico." 
Uh, Rob Alfano, thank you so much. Uh, Jason, once every two weeks we get your presence. We wish it were more. Phil Meyer, good night to you, and thank you for your participation. Same to you, Tony. Brian, Scrotus. Scroticus or whatever. Uh, 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 Scott Bonnie. All the bouncing balls. Always the first one to call. Mike, thank you for being here. Renee, always happy to hear you. And uh, Jeff, thank you. And of course, Vernon, we love your participation on this show. Why doesn't, uh, let's see here, everybody out there give a nice big wave goodbye to everybody so that we can, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Good night, everybody. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll, uh, well, let me get rid of, uh, get rid of all these people here and get rid of Skype. So the next show can sign on to it. See how considerate I am. Anyway, that's what it is for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Stay tuned for Jack and Amy. They're up next with the, uh, with the intersection and then connections comes on at one o'clock in the morning, right here on Gabnet, a whole night of talk and fun and frivolity. Uh, I'll see you again on Tuesday if I'm still alive. By the way, thank you to this audience tonight, and thank you to the Citizens Panel. I felt like shit about an hour before I went on the air from all this crap that was going on today. And this kind of just takes my mind off of it, and I had a really good time tonight. So thank you to them and to you who are watching us. I'll see you again on Tuesday. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay.